Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to episode 12 of my Minecraft Let's Play. I would say 1.18. However, if we take a look at the F3 menu, you can see right there in the upper left corner that uh, I have brought the world up to 1.19. That was what you guys said you wanted in the comments on the last video and kind of what I wanted to do anyways. I won't really be getting into any of the 1.19 content today um, because we've got some stuff we need to do. For those of you guys that didn't watch in the last episode, we went and took down that mean old dragon, got ourselves some wings, uh, some loot, which is actually already in another place because I've been doing some off-camera work. But we're going to start today's episode by marking off the dragon on our board over here. And then we're also going to add a couple things that we need to get done. So let's go ahead and take kill dragon off. That was satisfying. And in its place, we're going to need to put gunpowder. Farm because we need them rockets to be able to fly. Uh, and then let's see, what else was there? There was one more thing that I wanted to do. Well, you know, we might just do a general mob farm since it's a single player world. Don't really need a megaton of gunpowder. So we might just do a pretty old school standard uh, gunpowder farm. But anyways, without further ado, I think in today's episode, I'm going to tackle this villager breeder so that we can get our XP generation going and we can get um enchants we need mending on like everything before we start losing gear so without further ado let's get into it where are we going where are we going uh i gathered stuff for the villager reader oh we need sand we need sand lots of sand for glass all right, let's hop on over to the village. Ow. Okay, sand. Aha, there's some sand. Let's go, let's go rob a little further out. Let's go over here. We'll steal as much of this sand as we can. Now, do I have a shovel with me? I bet you I don't. Dead gummit. All right, let's go back to our village. I have a shovel from the nether that's perfect for gathering sand because it's useless for just about everything else. It's got a fortune three on it. So we're going to use this fortune three shovel and we're going to just go fill ourselves up some sand over here so that we have glass for our villager breeder. Then we'll get into it. So the villager breeder that I'm going to use is one that I saw first on Logical Geek Boy. I think he built this one back in one dot. 17 or something like that if i can find the video and remember to do it i will definitely link it in the comments down below don't want to be taking credit for other creators work or anything but uh, if you've not checked out logical geek boys simply minecraft series the farm builds he does in there are exactly like it sounds they're all extremely simple uh easy to follow at the very beginning of them they give you he gives you like a um a materials list so you know exactly how much you need of everything before you start on a you know a build so there's no guesswork i mean you can literally just gather the amount of stuff that he says you need and then of course like with any build video just remember you have a pause button that's uh that's how you follow most build guides is you you watch them and then you pause them now i've built this villager breeder enough times now that i can pretty much build it from memory so if it varies a little from his video that's just because i'm gonna build it off the top of my head and i'm not gonna be building it from the video itself all right so what we need we do need some glass uh i do believe the glass is pretty important in the design on this because i've tried building it before with various stone materials and you get the villagers that will glitch into the blocks and then suffocate although i mean honestly we only need a certain number of villagers in a single player world i don't know that i'm going to try to get every enchant going you know i'm i'm gonna we'll just we'll see how it goes so i just really kind of need the main things protection mending unbreaking three i think i have all that we want to get some looting on our sword And then we will just continue to do fun things. Just because you beat the dragon in Minecraft does not mean that the game is over. Honestly, 
the mobility that having an elytra gives you in the game really kind of helps the game just to get started especially like so in this world we started this world in 1.18 and i've just brought the world up to 1.19 but the thing about it is is all the terrain that's already generated generated with 1.18 terrain generation algorithms so in order to be able to find any of the new content to find the mangrove swamps, to find the frogs, to find the ancient cities, to find the warden, all that fun stuff that you guys are going to want to see, we're going to have to go further out. Uh, and having an elytra is really going to help with that. But we want this elytra to last. And as you can see, just from my little bit of flying around in the end and a little bit of flying around at home, durability on that elytra goes down pretty quick. So we're going to need some form of... Um, some better form of an XP farm than our zombie one that we've been using thus far up in the series. And I think I have an idea for that. That was the other thing I wanted to put on the project board. So we will be building an Enderman XP farm at some point because they are stupid fast and just it's really kind of the end all be all for your XP generation needs. All right, how much glass we got? Uh, five stacks. Let's go ahead and just round that off, make it a nice even six stacks of glass. Now, normally I wouldn't take sand from this close to where one of my locations is. However, this is a single player world, so I don't have to worry about what other people think about how my terrain looks. And it's not like I need shulker boxes full of sand uh although we will when we start to get ready to go look for netherite because i am a fan of uh i'm a fan of netherite mining for ancient debris i don't like the beds they set everything on fire so we're gonna pop over real quick to our og base actually no we're not because that won't run while we're over here do I have a furnace over here yet? I don't. Do we have enough cobble to make one? Yes, we do. Is there a furnace in here? Smoker? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a furnace. There's a furnace over here, right? I put one down over here at some point. No, I must have picked it up. Is it in here? Nope, some mine carts for women villagers. Nope, not in there. Okay, let's just make ourselves a furnace for over here. And this is just to smelt up some glass for us. Hopefully we've got fuel for the furnace here. I did not think about any of this. I did not think this through, you guys. I would just like to say I apologize for the delay in between all the episodes. Uh, just been dealing with some real life stuff and... Uh, you know, time gets away from you, and I've been playing some modded Minecraft. Uh, I find that to be a little more relaxing uh, these days. So I have started streaming some of that on both my YouTube and my Twitch. I typically stream my Vault Hunters on both Twitch and YouTube. And then I will probably do the same with the other modded Minecraft I'm playing uh, as well. So be sure you guys check out those live streams if you're looking for more content in between my vanilla videos. So we got us some glass smelting, um, so that'll get us a full stack, and then we can get like eight more after that, which hopefully will be enough to get us rolling here on this. Now, for those of you that have been watching from the beginning, you will remember that I started on a villager breeder in here, and I kind of just made it like an old school simplistic villager breeder for the time being, just to make sure I didn't run out of villagers, and I threw a bunch of extra beds in here. And I've been feeding these guys. Um, I've been feeding these guys just extra carrots. However, I don't want to always have to do that on my own. I would like for them to breed up and be ready for me to use them when I need them without having to, you know, manually farm the carrots and stuff. So as I said, this is a design that I saw on Logical Geek Boys Simply Logic series or Simply Minecraft series. Sorry, my bad. Um, and I am going to do my best to reproduce it. So I'm not going to be making this a full build guide because if you're trying to build it, I would much rather you go watch the original creator's uh, video and use his guide, give him the views. So let's see what we got. I think 
need to put this up, but I want to grab those mine carts. So let's put this back up. Get us a fortune pick before we mine that next time. All right, we got all those. We don't need this gunpowder in. We can put the sand up for the time being. This has our sticky pistons, which we will need some, some uh, yeah, we got some uh, opaque blocks or whatever, solid blocks. Now, let's see, what's next? Oh, mine carts, they're over here. All right, so I wanna grab two of these villagers because that's all we need for the farm. And I want to get them in mine carts to keep them in there. And the rest of them, I'm going to open the door once I have two in mine carts. And I'm just going to let them out into the village, which is probably not the best of ideas. But, uh, you know, if we can get them into some builds later on, that'll be cool. And if not, you know, it'll make the village feel a little more organic, having, you know, a little bit of life. So in order to try and get these guys in here, I'm just going to put down a rail. And I'm going to stick a mine card on here, and then we're going to see if we can suck one of them up. Because they will not just hop into a mine cart like they will a boat, but if they are standing next to it, it will suck them in. So maybe we need to encircle these guys here. All right. And then if I do that, replace this, put that there. Now we've got ourselves a little U. And hopefully, it'll suck one of these guys in here. Get in there. Nope. How about, can I push you in there? Because they won't get into a sitting still minecart. Only a moving one. All right, that guy's close enough. Yes. All right, one's in. All right. And we have two. Hooray. Okay, so we have two... Villagers in my carts. Ah, look at that. The one, the one villager, villager was pushing the other one in the mine cart. That was great. You guys are performing for the camera. Okay. That should keep those two guys right there. Now, let's just open this up and let these other guys out into the village now. Hopefully, there's still enough lingering job blocks to lure them all out. But take some of these beds. I only need... Now, in the build, I will only need four beds. Let's throw down this extra shulker box right here. And just for the sake of those of you who like for things to match, we're going to pull out these white ones. And we'll just use all white beds in the breeder build. All right, so that is going to be our four beds we need. We're going to put some dirt back in here and put this back in here to keep those villagers from wanting to go behind there. Put that in there for light. Or take these other beds out. I'm going to go scatter these beds around the village just in case we can't lure the rest of these guys out of here. They don't wander out on their own. Uh, hopefully at nightfall, they'll come searching for some of these beds. So there's a bed. Let's go put a bed back down here. Actually, make this a, a twofer. All right, and we got one more bed. Let's go find another house to stick a bed in actually we can just can make make this a a two villager house as well now hopefully that'll help me get all these guys out of here um i'm gonna need to cart these guys out of the way for the time being because i need to get a carrot farm going so let's get you guys over there go on and you can go as well. Nope, I don't need you all the way back over here. Just stop as close as you can. Okay. There's that. Now, I need this nine by nine and dirt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cool. So we're going to dig it down one deeper. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a nine by nine carrot farm. Carrots are the best uh, to use because they don't have to convert it to anything else in their inventory. So unlike if you were to use like wheat, um, for this, 
they just use the carrots to breed as is and don't have to actually make the bread and you get your best, you know, gains or whatever out of it. Alright, now we need 81 dirt, which if we don't have it here, I definitely have it back at my main base. So, let's toss this extra stone in here. I didn't bring the dirt. Alright, let's see if we have 81 dirt here. If not, we will fly back over to our main base real quick and grab it. I got 48. Okay, not enough. Q fancy cutting this out. There we go. 81 dirt. Uh, is my hoe here or in one of those other chests? Aha, there's my hoe. All right, we definitely want our hoe for making the crops. Ooh, did we have a bucket? Uh, bucket, bucket, bucket. Bucket's full of axolotls. Those poor guys been in the chest for like, you know, almost this whole season so far. Um, well, I think there's iron if we don't have buckets, so we'll just make ourselves one real quick. A bucket, that is. Boop, boop, boop. Bucket. Okay. Pop down the hill here. Okay. Is our glass done smelting? Almost. We could, uh, just throw in some extra there. Take out the glass that's in it. Oh, looks like a lot of the villagers have made their way out of our farm, which is good. Oh, there's still a few hanging out, but that's okay. They will get out eventually. Or we will kind of delete them. Off camera, of course. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. All right, so we need to leave this hole empty. And that's where our water source goes. So water will hydrate crops. I think I've already talked about this earlier, but just in case somebody's coming in mid-series, water will hydrate crops four out in every direction. Well, yeah, in a in a nine by nine, essentially. So you put it in the middle and then in a nine by nine around it, you get hydrated farmland, which makes crops grow faster and better and all that good stuff. So there we go. Now let's till it all up. Now, the other thing is crops require at least a light level of one to grow. So we may have to add some light sources back here in the back of the farm, uh, like I just did here, just to make sure that the light level is high enough since we are underground for the crops to grow. I swear I turned off those beginner tooltips. Why it's showing me recipe for a boat, I don't know. Oh, because I updated to 1.19 and I jumped in that water. That's why. Okay. Um, let's see. We need some carrots. So let's go out here to our giant carrot farm and get some. Here I am trying to right click like we have harvest hoe or something in the single player world, but nope, that's a modded thing and I don't have it. So you have to do the old school of left click and then replant. There are so many creature comforts that come with playing modded Minecraft, but the vanilla experience is still very fun. All right, do we have more than 81? Yes, we do. Okay, so we've got enough fill out our whole farm. Okay, so there is, as you can see, I'm trying to plant a crop right there. There's not a high enough light level. So easiest way to fix that, especially since it's in the middle, we could do a couple of things. I think what we'll do is let's, let's waterlog it put our composter for our farmer on top and then or 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 better 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 we're gonna do a lantern let's make a lantern i have a crafting table in here nope crafting table right there though 
Alright, let's break up, break up the block of iron. Turn it into nuggets. Get some of our torches. And then we're going to make lantern. Lantern. Yay! While we're here, did I have any wood in this chest? Because I need some wood. Oh, I already have composters. That'll work. And then we can use stair for water logging, composter on top, and then we'll put a piece of glass on top of that. Oh, and we can put the torches around the glass, but that'll work. We have a lantern, just in case. So, uh, let's see. Best way to do this. Uh, let's go ahead and water log the stair. So put that there. And then we're going to put composter here. And this farmer picked up the job, which is fine. That'll work for me. I don't really care which farmer it is. All right. And then we're going to put a piece of glass. Two pieces of glass. And we made a lantern, but we're actually not going to use it. We're going to use torches. So we're going to put torch, 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 torch. And then now we should be able to plant our crops. All right, one other thing we should do, let's go ahead and grab this, close up this hole. And there we go. Now, where did our farmer go? Oh boy, we're gonna need that farmer to come back. All right, we're gonna need some more of this stone too to put a wall here. So let's grab the rest of that. All right, and then we're gonna leave it like that. So then this is where our drop chute goes. Oh boy, I really wish our farmer was still in there. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and just push these two guys in there and then this will work out just fine. Okay. You guys can go and we will break that composter and get one of you guys to take the farmer job. Okay, near that way and you need to get in here too. We can block this off. Actually, we'll just block it off. Bye. There we go. Alright, so trapdoor, trapdoor, and then it's going to need to go down another one. And then that'll leave me. We need to go down one more. Right? I think so. So we put water bucket here, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this needs to be a fence, which I didn't bring. I need you to get out of here, buddy. There's other beds in the village. Go find one. Oh, your job block's in here. That's why you in here. All right, let's take your job block. Are you locked in already? You are. I bought arrows from you. Okay. Let's bring your fletching table. Let's just put you out here. Just to keep you safe, you get a lantern. Yeah, that's right. Your, your table's out there. Go on. You know you want to go. Awesome. There we go. All right, so now we are done worrying about excess villagers, although I need wood. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, farmer, sorry. I took your job. I'm about to give it to somebody else. Uh, we'll take some of that, some of that, some of that. All right, that should be enough. Let's go ahead and bring, we need at least two buckets of water. We can make ourselves an infinite water source in there. This poor farmer. About to lose your job, buddy. Sorry. I mean, you're not going to lose it because we've already locked in your trades, but it'll be what it'll be. All right, let's go with yet another crafting table. That makes crafting table 84 on the series. And then we need trap doors. Y you give me two, right? Yep. Okay. So we do this. Do this. Sweet. Now these guys are almost completely stuck in here. Oh crap, I forgot that they will try to fall in the hole. 
All right, so now I get to build a staircase out for this Gidget that fell in the hole. Come on, buddy. Come on up here. All right, and then we get to lure both of you guys back in here. This is going to be fun. I love working with villagers. It's my favorite. All right, so one of you should want the job block. Cool. All right, and then the other of you, I'm probably going to have to get into a mine cart and wheel you in. We need another trap door, though, to prevent them from getting out because I forgot. Okay, so the trick's going to be once we get him in there, that was too easy. Oh, my gosh. Thank you guys for cooperating. There we go. So now we can go through, but the villagers can't because they can't crouch. And what will happen is this guy will harvest up all these carrots and eventually... Uh, they will have their inventories full enough, and we will put some beds out there, and they will meet the qualifications to breed. So we're going to give carrots to one of them, and then we're going to come give carrots to the other, hopefully. Come take them. Go take those. One of you guys. Here, take them. All right, well, I guess it's good that the farmer has them. The sooner he fills up, the sooner he'll start sharing. All right, then next step, let's make ourselves an infinite water source, just in case we need more water than we brought. So we'll do it right here. Bam. Bam. And now, infinite water. Okay. So we need to get our water flowing down there. I'm going to have to drop in the hole. Okay, and this should push all the way to the end. Sweet. Now we need a fence, particularly cobblestone fence. And then this is the part where I was saying, I think everything has to be glass to keep them from like glitching into stuff. So we're gonna make this last little bit of the shoot glass uh, just because I think that's what it needs to be. Could be wrong. Okay, and then we will dig one down. Cobblestone fence. All right, and then as we get here, that pushes us a block higher. We want to leave this open, but let's go ahead and make all of the surrounding bits to where the villagers are moving up and down. Glass. Okay, and then if I understand, if I remember correctly, I'm going to need some signs. And then we also need to make this glass. And we need... A sign there and a sign here, but that is going to need to be glass as well. Sign here, right? Is that is that right? I might have to go look at the video. I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry for the silence here. I'm just trying to remember how to make this thing. Is it there? I think that's it. And then it flows. And then I fill this in. Nope, that's not it. I think the water goes one higher. There we go. And then we grab some more water. All right, and that's going to push all the villagers to right there, which is what we want. But we're going to make this whole thing glass because we're going to need to dig down around it to get our ejection system built. This is definitely not exactly how he did it, but that's fine. As long as it works. That's the goal. It's just to have a working, functional villager breeder. All right, we're going to need to go get the rest of that glass. Should be more than enough to finish this out. All right, so it's not enough glass. We're going to need to smelt some more, but that's enough for us to keep on moving. So. A uh, brief explanation, although uh, Logical Geek Boy does a great job in his video. The way this is going to work, we need to throw down our beds. Let's grab them. So we throw down beds right here with the head of the bed facing. And then we want to put this one towards the middle. And these villagers will see these beds as beds they can get to because these trap doors are open. So they think they can walk across. As you can see, they're both trying to get here. Looks like it's probably night, so let's skip the night. All right, and then this villager breeder exploits the mechanic that baby villagers always want to jump on beds. So just like these adult villagers are trying to get to the bed, 
the babies when they're born will think oh hey i can come jump on these beds and they will try to run over here and what will happen is they will fall into the pit down there that pit will then push them over down here onto the cobblestone wall which is a a half block or a quarter block taller, but it will not be tall enough for the baby villagers to get sucked up into the water stream. Now, adult villagers, as soon as they grow up, when their head touches the water stream right there, it will cause them to swim up. And then this water is all flowing to this corner, which will push them into this corner. And then what we'll do is we're gonna dig out down underneath here and we will put a minecart system because villagers do not take damage if they are pulled through glass. Now, if they're pulled through pretty much anything else, they will take damage. But since we're going to be pulling them through this corner of the glass where they are right here, they will actually not take any damage as we suck them through. And we're going to use a minecart to pull the villagers out of the villager breeder. Now, Logical Geek Boy also in the video has a nice little system built for this. We will essentially put a uh, dispenser with mine carts in front of it with a button and then you just push the button and the villagers get ejected out into a mine cart on a rail and then we will be able to carry them wherever we want them in our build so give me just a minute to dig this out and i will set it up and if i doubt we'll have a grown-up villager by then because we have yet to even get our first baby but we did just put down the beds to meet their spawn requirements so all right dispenser did I make a dispenser? Dispenser requires a bow and arrow. It, it does. All right, so I need a bow, some redstone dust, which I have the redstone dust. Hey, okay, we need a bow. And also we can make ourselves a little entrance into here. We can either do, for now, uh, we have an extra trap door. So what we'll do is we'll do this. We'll just put a trap door here. The villagers, other than baby villagers, wouldn't be able to get in there so we'll put an iron door with a button on it eventually now we need a bow this guy didn't sell bows yet did he nope okay i don't have any string no string string in here also no string okay we may have to run home real quick, get some string to make a bow for our dispenser. We can demonstrate how it'll work without that though. So we'll just need a lever and let's get down here. Okay, and then what we do is this. So we will put a couple blocks here. Oh, we need to be one block over. Yep, that's the corner they're on. Okay, we don't need this excess stuff. All right, and then how this works is eventually we will replace, let's make it different. Let's make it an acacia plank. Okay, eventually we will replace this acacia plank with a dispenser. But for the time being, we can still operate the system without the dispenser. So what we'll do is we send some rails up like this and what that'll do is that will, when an adult villager gets into that little corner, it will pull the villager out into a minecart that we sit on the thing. Let's see. I think if we bring this up one more, we'll be ground level outside. We will. Cool. So what we can do, we can exploit that same mechanic and we can do that. And then our villagers will be able to come out there without taking any damage. And the one block high prevents anything except babies from getting in here. Now, we could potentially try to speed this up with feeding these guys some stuff. But for now, I guess we won't. All right, so how this will work if we don't have a dispenser. So say you don't have a dispenser in your world and you're building this. You can throw your minecart on the rail and you put a lever on this block. And then when you want a villager, Turn the lever on, and it's going to send it out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looks like we need two, two powered rails. So that's fine. Let's back this up. All right, we're going to back it up, put another powered. And we'll put another thing, that. And then now, that should have enough oomph to get them out the door. Just barely. <laughs> 
but it does. So that'll pull our villager through the little corner of the glass right there into the minecart. And then we have villagers out there on minecarts to send into all of our different trading halls that we want to build. Let's come get our other minecart. And there we go. So this is the villager breeder design that I have used forever. And we just now got to wait on those guys to get enough stuff in their inventory that they think they can breed. And then what we're going to do here is we are going to put with a sticky piston, we're going to make an on off for it. So we need one more lever and then we're going to use sticky pistons that I don't exactly remember where they came from, but I had three in my inventory. We're going to put it. Uh, actually, let's just take that out of the way for the time being. Then we're going to put this one facing this way that in front of it lever right here and then so in case you get too many villagers and you don't want it to cause lag in your world what you can do you flip that lever that blocks the line of sight for the villagers over there to be able to see the beds and they won't breed anymore so with it open they can see the beds and they will continue to breed and make more villagers with it closed they can't see the beds and uh, they'll quit breeding so that is our villager breeder done and done so now we just wait and that's the hardest part you know is waiting on them to you know get enough carrots in their inventory that they think they can make baby villagers let's see what should we do let's put a chest down here i like to usually do this i like to make a chest to throw down here and i'll just leave my rails and stuff down here that way because you know if you're going to be working with your villager breeder you're going to be coming down here to launch them out anyways and then the rails and stuff that you need to you know get them on out wherever you want them to go are all right here did i put rails in here i did let's grab those out let's put up the rest of this uh that's enough for one more rail we can make some more rails oh what's i need those sticks back all right and so then a rail is just like this like this and like that all right, 16 more rows there all right so we got ourselves everything we'll need when we come back uh, we'll leave some redstone dust in there because we'll need that for the dispenser when we get a bow but now we're just waiting we wait on these guys to do their thing get the crops grown up enough that they are uh you know getting an excess of carrots All right, and so that's Villager Breeder. And I think that with that, I'm gonna call this an episode. So we got our Villager Breeder built, and then I think next time we're gonna work on the gunpowder farm, which I think I'm gonna make is just a general mob farm. Let's go back over to our base to end the episode though, and we will mark off this Villager Breeder off the board and we will add the Enderman XP farm that we talked about. All right, marking things off. And Enderman XP farm. That's a fun one. You get to bridge out over the void, you know, just standing on the edge of danger the whole time. But with that, I just want to say thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, give that like button a push. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe so that you know when I go live and when I post new videos. All right. Thanks. Have a good day.